Hello and welcome to Kanu Point Conversations. My name is Ritesh, and we are here in New Delhi for Snapdragon for India event. And I am delighted to be joined by a special guest, Kedar Konda. He is the SPP and GM for Compute and Gaming. Right. So, hey Kedar, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ritesh. Thanks for having me on. Thanks. And it's been a long time since uh, we last met at MWC and That's before right. that in Hawaii. And so much has happened since then, right? You launched the X Elite platform followed by the X Plus. Uh, we had Microsoft Build where we saw the announcement of Copilot Plus PCs where, you know, uh, the announcement was, was filled with all the Snapdragon devices, right? So uh, the momentum is definitely good on your side, right? So can you tell us a bit about, uh, you know, what is the definition of AI PC and how is it different from the traditional PCs that we have been using? First, thanks for having me on. Obviously, always exciting to talk to you. Um, I think, uh, you know, as, as you mentioned, we've uh, launched the Snapdragon X Elite and the Plus. Uh, now, uh, both the platforms are announced. Uh, what Microsoft has announced with uh, Copilot Plus and, uh, you know, it's a good testament to uh, the experiences and the partnership that we have with Microsoft. I think um, the way to look at uh, what's going to happen with generative AI and what's going to happen with these next-gen PCs is a lot of these uh, devices are going to have a lot of on-device uh, AI processing. And so uh, uh, what you see is just the beginning of a long journey where uh, you'll see more and more apps get developed, more ISV start to build some applications. Uh, we're obviously showcasing a few of our partnerships with uh, what we've done with these ISVs. Right. But I think... Uh, the most interesting part is that when we use the term PC Reborn, uh, we really believe that, one, we create excitement with the XL8 and the Plus with, uh, with uh, users. But at the same time, this is going to be a true personal computer. Uh, the PC will understand uh, consumer expectations, uh, sometimes even without explicit input from the consumer. So I think uh, the fact is that as you look at... Uh, generative AI and the applications and uh, the behavior between the PC and the user, it will change significantly. And so that's what I think will drive excitement over the next uh, many, many years. And I think what we're seeing right now is just the beginning of uh, what I call a movement towards intelligent computing. Great. And you mentioned about those use cases, right? And the PC will understand you rather than you understanding the PC. So can you talk about uh, some of these use cases that you see right now with that you have developed with your partners? I mean, there's so many. We, we uh, You've seen probably a few videos. If not, we should link a few of the videos to uh, uh, to this particular uh, chat. Is Like, for example, with Cephable, you know, it's uh, for people that are challenged. Um, it's able to understand exactly how you're able to communicate with, uh, with your PC and be able to communicate actions that you would otherwise have to use some explicit input. There are Many, many such, there's another application called DJ Pro. Uh, simple things that we use every day, right? You have all of us click pictures that are not necessarily uh, very sharp. Right. And so when you think of super resolution or optimizing an image and, uh, you know, you run these things, for example, we talked about uh, Luminar Neo, one of the ISVs that talked about their applications. They've talked about exactly how quickly they can convert an image into something very sharp, right? Mm -hmm. And all of these things happen with uh, low battery life and stuff. So when you think about processing on device on an NPU using the heterogeneous architecture that Qualcomm Snapdragon has to offer, right. what the consumer gets is the benefit of really fast processing, good battery life, and obviously this translates into uh, you know a very good user experience at the end of the day. Great. And I think battery life has been a biggest pain point for all the users, be it smartphones or you know laptops or even cars, right? Yeah. So uh, that's a good thing that, you know, you guys have focused on performance as well as battery life. But now with these AI PCs coming into picture, how do you think it will drive the PC adoption, especially when uh, we look at markets like India where the broadband penetration is increasing? You know, I think uh, 2024 and 2025 are very interesting years because uh, it drives multiple inflection points in the next uh, couple of years. One, I think, uh, uh, as you probably know, there is a large installed base of PCs waiting for a refresh with an older set of OS. Right. 
uh, I think uh, the number is close to more than a few hundred million uh, that are waiting for an upgrade. Second, I think when you look at uh, PCs that are uh, Windows 10 as an example, uh, Windows 10 will be end of uh, service next year. So I think what you would see with uh, is anytime there is a new change in uh, an OS, it drives uh, radical adoption of uh, and refresh of PCs. Third, obviously with Gen AI and uh, with Microsoft launching uh, Copilot Plus and these experiences, it will drive another refresh cycle. So I think we haven't seen excitement in PCs in many, many years. And this will drive a set of excitement. And as you uh, rightly put it, Ritesh, once you start to use a X Elite PC, I've been using one now for uh, many months myself, uh, the battery life is just incredible, right? You have to be able to use it to experience what a really all-day battery life means, being able to get through the day with the uh, typical tasks that we do every day and still have a lot of charge left in your battery. So being able to do these next-gen use cases and preserve battery life, I think, is, uh, is a wonderful experience. I'm a MacBook Pro user and a hardcore one. So I'm really excited to try this and see if it changes my mind. Oh, you have to try it. Uh, you're going to be excited about uh, right. what you have to see. Great. And when we talk about these AI experiences, right, you have the AI stack uh, where developers can optimize their models for the Snapdragon platform. And not just for the PC, but also for the smartphones and any Snapdragon product for that matter, right? So can you tell us a bit about how closely you're working with developers to you know, help them optimize these uh, apps and experiences for the platform? It's actually, there's so many different things we're doing, right? One, I think, uh, you know, we've uh, talked about uh, a dev kit uh, that Microsoft and we announced, Microsoft announced it at or Build. And uh, so we're making sure that one, there is access to hardware to all the developers across the globe for them to be able to take a lot of uh, the tools. Uh, you know, Microsoft obviously has supported Visual Studio and a lot of these uh, tools are available. Uh, we've also, in addition to making sure there's hardware available, we've made sure that there is software that goes with it. So most recently we announced AI Hub right around uh, the May Microsoft event is where you any developer can actually bring, uh, there's more than 100 models that are easily available. They can get their applications, use these models, and very quickly and effectively be able to port their application to a Windows on Snapdragon or an X Elite and an X Plus platform. So uh, the number of engagements that, we're, that we have with developers is huge. So I think we see more and more uh, users wanting to port their applications to the NPU, port their applications to using on-device AI. So, and we're making sure that uh, they not only have hardware, but also have access to all the tools and the software, and we're making it as easy as possible for them to be able to use these uh, devices. And if we think of it from a go-to-market strategy for both the channels, consumers as well as your enterprise, right. can you tell us what are uh, what is it that you are doing on the India front? I'll start with global and then I'll specifically right. talk about India. Uh, at a global level, we've got more than 50 uh, retailers that right. have launched uh, devices. So these are the likes of Best Buys and Curry's and others globally that we've launched with. So all the big names that you know um, have assorted uh, X Elite and Plus laptops. Um, specifically for India, we've got partnerships with uh, Chroma, uh, Flipkart, Amazon, Reliance Digital, and in addition to that, you also have many of the OEM stores that sell products directly, uh, either in-store or on their online uh, websites, have these devices available. So very much focused from a consumer perspective, we want to make sure these devices are available for uh, all the consumers. Um, Vitesh, you also asked about enterprises. Right. Um, it obviously takes time for an enterprise to deploy any uh, new laptop. Oh. We've partnered with more than 30 uh, commercial partners. And uh, we are working with many enterprises. They are in uh, testing phase right now. So uh, many of these enterprises are testing Windows on Snapdragon devices and we're working with them to make sure that uh, they're ready for deployment at scale uh, within their enterprise environment. So a lot of work happening uh, on both okay. the consumer and the commercial front to make sure these devices are available to users. And one last point, you mentioned about uh, also going to offline channels like Chroma, Reliance, Digital, and all. So, uh, 
what are the kind of efforts that you guys are taking to educate the user about what's different in these AI PCs with maybe some use cases and so on? There's lots of work going on. We, uh, you know, there are uh, small videos that are generated. We're training all the uh, in-store staff to make sure they are educated on exactly how to be able to address and sell these next-gen yeah. uh, PCs. Uh, we have a lot of marketing collateral, marketing activities that we're doing. So overall, I think there's uh, a lot of excitement with uh, making sure the consumer is aware of what we're buying. Great. And before we end this discussion, can you talk about a couple of your favorite use cases that these AI PCs bring? I think it's just the beginning, right? If you, like I said, once you start to use uh, with uh, one battery life, there's no doubt you have to use it like I told you. Right. Um, second, I think even with camera, uh, a lot of the cameras that you see, we, we don't talk about it much, but uh, you know, during COVID, everybody had an external camera on top. But with this, almost all the PCs here, I think all of them have a MIPI camera. So you'll see significantly improved image quality relative to what uh, consumers in Windows are used to using today. Uh, third, I think when you start to use these next-gen AI experiences, it's just the beginning. And so I can already start to see benefits of how uh, these use cases are uh, getting evolved. Ritesh, before we adjourn, uh, I'm going to tease uh, our audience with one one thing. Sure, go ahead. I think, uh, you know, obviously with uh, we've launched the X Lead and the Plus, and uh, our intent is to make sure that we make uh, these devices ubiquitous enough and it's available for everybody. Right. My, uh, my request to your audience is to tune in. Uh, we have some more exciting stuff coming up uh, on September 4th at IFA. So I want to make sure your uh, all of your uh, viewers have uh, you know are paying attention to more stuff that's coming. So while this is just the beginning, I think yeah. there's more exciting stuff down the line. Great, and I think that was very insightful and a great chat. Always, always fun chatting with you. So thank thanks you. a lot, Rupesh.